I thought I'd talk today about the topic of feeling unworthy for love. I've kind of mentioned it in other videos that I've put out, saying that at some times even I felt this feeling of being unworthy of love and not being good enough to fall in love. I just wanted to try and make a positive video for people out there, that that, that simply isn't the case. I think for me, I have also I've talked about like being rejected in the past, and for me, when I am rejected by a man for whatever reason, the first thing that like runs through my mind is, oh, he's rejected me because I'm not slim enough. And I don't want that to be like the crux of my channel, but it is kind of, I guess it's a big part of the, the negativity that I kind of feel. I guess I've always kind of felt in myself that I'm the pretty girl that's big or that's chubby. I always draw this back to my weight as being my Achilles heel, stopping me from finding love. And the trouble is what I'm doing is I am projecting that belief onto other people. I don't know the reasons and ins and outs why people don't want to be with me, but in my brain, I think that is the reason. And it's definitely fed onto this narrative of being unworthy of love, not being thin enough to find love. You are not gonna know why a guy doesn't want to be with you or why someone's rejected you. There could be a million different reasons. For me, it'll always go back to, that's the reason why they don't want me. And I think it's it's a very common feeling for women especially to feel. It seems to be the mindset that people take on. And for me, it's always happened because I've been dating someone and then they'll kind of get to the point where they're like, oh, I don't want a relationship with you. What will inevitably happen is that I will then find out who their next girlfriend is and she'll be slimmer than me. And rather than thinking objectively that maybe I'm not the right fit for that person, girls do this, they'll look at the new person and they'll think, oh, he's picked her because she's slimmer. Although I do say on my channel that looks are important to guys, it isn't solely looks that men ultimately go for. I even stressed it in my feminine archetype series, you need different aspects of being female for a guy to find you attractive and be the whole package. But I think this narrative that people are unworthy of love if they don't look a certain way, it needs to absolutely stop. And the truth is people of all different shapes and sizes and colours fall in love every day and for anyone watching this, if you're sitting there and thinking that you're not worthy enough to be in love, or once you lose 10 pounds, then you can get on the dating scene and then you can start to find love, that just isn't true. It's gonna be cliche, but if you don't love yourself and think that you are worthy, how will someone love you? That's definitely what I am working on at the moment is making myself, how do I say this? Trying to make myself a, a person as a whole that doesn't need validation from somebody else. I think this is where women are going wrong. Basically, over the last five or 10 years or so, women have tended to be more aggressive in dating. They've been going out there being the chooser and it's just bringing down their self-esteem because they're chasing guys that are not into them, that do not fancy them, when instead they should be comfortable with who they are and have that energy that the, the man will come to them and the man will want to be with them. I know definitely that even I, I've made this mistake myself where because I didn't feel whole in myself as a person, I feel like I was always striving for somebody else to feel that hole inside me. I've always subconsciously been looking for somebody else to kind of fill that void. And I think that's what a lot of women do. They become really almost aggressive in their dating life. And because they want someone so much and they want a boyfriend and they want to fall in love, they just go out there, keep asking out loads of men on dates and these men aren't into them. And instead of coming from the angle that a strong, confident woman will go and ask lots of men on dates, what it's doing is it's just eroding the self-confidence of women because these women are chasing men that are not interested in them. And it's perpetuating a cycle of 
the woman not feeling whole, not feeling complete. So she's going out there, she's trying to find love from somebody else in whatever form that will be, whether it's casual sex or just dating. And she's going out there trying to fill this void. This is why, as I said, I hate Bumble, which is another story. You're chasing guys that aren't interested in you, basically. And then it goes full circle and it will perpetuate the feelings and it will come back. And it always comes back to women as a sense of unworthiness and a sense of I'm not good enough for love because all these people are rejecting me. And I think that's that's where we've got to now really in dating is possibly, I do think in general men are becoming more passive in dating. You can blame it on the Me Too movement, I don't know, I, I don't know. But men in general have become more passive and they aren't asking women out. So women are filling the void in this aspect and they're becoming more aggressive. They're asking men out because the men have become passive and are not asking them out in return. And it's just leading to women feeling unworthy, basically. But in the last year or so, I've definitely tried to move towards this feeling of, I am worthy of love, to fall in love. You don't have to be this almost perfect person. The only being a fantasy character is what you need to fall in love. What I'm trying to remind myself at the moment is that, it's gonna sound a bit cheesy, but the phrase, I've kind of got this phrase in my head of no one is like me. And I keep reminding my, to myself that there's always gonna be girls out there that are prettier than me. There's always going to be girls out there that are thinner than me, but no one is actually like me. I'm not going to like list all my qualities off in a video, but I just have to remind myself that no one is like me. And I am a unique individual that is worthy of love no matter what I look like. So I just want to stress for anyone out there that you are worthy of love, no matter what you look like. No one out there is unworthy of love. And see you soon.